When you do all you can to satisfy the customer, even using your own money, are you certain that Instacart's gonna have your back? Are they gonna support you? And furthermore, why would you even be willing or feel compelled to use your own finances in order to help the customer? My name is Russ and I'm your gig economy expert. I've been doing this part-time for five years now. So you can take my advice and it'll help you improve your earnings and your ratings. So let's get right into it. In this video, first I'm gonna cover what I did and let you know how it's resolved. And then I'm gonna give you some lessons learned that I have learned and hopefully now you can take to heart as well. So let's get into what happened. I had taken a small Instacart order, maybe three items. One of them, they didn't have the quantity in stock that the customer wanted, and so they did have the next higher count. I messaged him and he said, yes, he wanted that. And so I substituted it, but you know, hindsight, I don't think that he actually approved it because then when I checked out and I went to the register, it declined my instant card payment. And so I knew there was something wrong, but I thought, you know what, I've done this once before. I used my own payment method. I knew that he wanted it and I just wanted to get on my way. And so I used my own personal credit card. So later on, I knew that I would do that reimbursement process with Instacart and it should work out fine. I ended up, when I got to the customer's house, messaging him and I asked him to call Instacart. That way he could let them know what's going on. And from his end, then they would know that he did want it. And I let him know that I would also chat with him. So I ended up chatting with him. The customer support agent was helpful and he said he would take care of it because I should be reimbursed. And again, keep in mind, I paid for all three items on my card. As it turns out, they declined my request. And I was surprised because the customer paid some amount of money for these items. Wouldn't the company recognize that and know that they would reimburse me at least part of it? But they denied the whole request. So I spent more of my time over the next couple of days contacting the service agent again. And this time they said that they would help and send it to the finance team once again. So keep in mind how much time I've already spent and they have not refunded me yet. So since then, I've already given up on getting all my money back because yes, it was my fault that I was looking to take care of the customer, knowing that they were going to approve it, but that would be a small portion of the bill. Now I'm just gonna be happy that Instacart would not be stealing from me and would reimburse me the two items, the value that the customer did pay and did order. And Instacart should clearly see through this. And as you know, don't wanna make assumptions, but just like, all those gig economy companies, their customer service is sourced from around the world. So they may not have a vested interest in me as the independent shopper. So this brings us to the next point. What can you learn from this? And what should I learn myself? And remember, don't ever do this again. All right, so you spend a lot of time out shopping. You wanna get paid. When I did this before, I had a huge cart of items from Costco. The difference is, their payment system was down for Instacart. So the app was glitching, something was happening. So physically I could not pay. So in this case, I didn't wanna waste all that time. I had spent say an hour shopping. I wanna get paid. So I used my own credit card. The reimbursement process went through very smoothly and I did get all my money with no problem. So the difference is don't do this. Well, you can do what you want, but I'm not ever gonna do it again. If there's ever a payment that fails at the register because one price was too high, then I would say you need to resolve the situation then and don't risk your own personal finances. So if you've enjoyed learning so far at my expense, please do click the like button and also like the channel. It really helps a lot, so thank you. Why would this kind of stuff be happening now? Well, I'm sure you've seen in the news all the different fraud of uh, criminals running up customers' bills coming out of their checking. And so I think Instacart is wisely putting limits on how much we can spend. If they only expect the order to be this amount, they're not gonna approve an amount that's much larger. And this makes sense. But as a shopper, we can suffer for this. We always wanna bend over backwards and do our best for the customer, getting them what they want because we get good ratings, we get good tips, and that's why Instacart hires us. We go out and do the work. We're an interface between the company, getting the customer their goods. And so it's natural. We always wanna have good customer service. We wanna get them exactly what they want and we want them to be happy with the entire experience. The second reason that you don't wanna risk your own personal finances if there's an issue with the payment, if it rejects, is because you might not get your money back. 
and I'm living proof of this. I'm not going to give up fighting, but I'll tell you what, it sure is infuriating when you're using your own money for something that's good and then the company is not supporting you. So my lesson learned in this is I'm not going to do this again. If there's ever a glitch, something where there's a price difference, I'm not going to risk my finances. The third reason that I don't want you to do it, and I sure don't want to do it, think of all the time that I've now wasted contacting customer support, basically begging for my money, trying to be kind and say, okay, now not the whole amount, but you're stealing from me if you don't even at least have the courtesy to reimburse me part of the total bill. This should make sense because they know what the customer ordered. They know what they want. They took the money from the customer. Where's the money? If I use my own card, shouldn't Instacart clearly see that there's a balance there and they have extra money? Where should it go? So don't waste your time. I'm not going to waste my time anymore because it's just not worth the risk. I could have been out doing another batch, earning more money instead of losing my money. So let this be a true warning to all of us. As a shopper, we have a narrow range of boundaries and we need to stay within them. Yes, we want to represent the company well, but you know what? This shows we're not employees. I have a desire, and I'm sure you do too, to do your best and get the customer what they want. But this lack of concern by Instacart really does highlight where I stand in their eyes with their company, and let that be a lesson to you too. So could there ever be a time that using your own money would be a good idea? And there is, kind of like I've already mentioned. In this video that I have for you next, I'll run you through that order and show you how everything went smoothly and life was happy ever after, but not in this case for me. So I'll see you there in that video.